Hello everybody! It's been a while. Sorry. Life got life got in the way. I got a motorcycle. Yeah, you know. Anyway, um, I was finally able to find a Canon AT1. This actually finishes off my A series collection. So now I have the A1, the AT1, the A1 the A1 program, the AV1, and the AL1, and I don't think I've missed anything. AV, AL, A1, yeah. Um, but I finally was able to find this um, right down the street from my house. He wanted 80, I paid him 50. He took 50. Anyway, it's an AT1. Now this come like right on the heels of the of the AE1. Not the program, but the AE1. The AE1 came out in April. Let me adjust my mask here. The AE1 came out in April, and this came out in like December of 76. It's pretty, it's, it's a lot like physically, at least from here over, and everything else, like the AE1 but where the AE-1 is shutter priority or fully manual, this is fully manual. There is no, there's no automatic on this at all. This has, all this has is a light meter and it's electric shutter and it takes the same battery they all take. It takes the same battery they all take, which is this 4LR44. Uh, PX28. Um, this is a PX28L because it's lithium. PX28S would be silver. PX28 or 28A would be alkaline. They're all six volt. There's even a, a I've seen a, like a little cage that you can put um, four little LR44 batteries in, and it will the little cage holds it and it will take up the space. Um, Okay, not all A batteries or A cameras take this. The remember the AL1 from like a previous video. Um, it's the AL1 takes double A's, but the otherwise all the A's take that battery. Now this one, like I said, is fully manual. You you can't even on this one you can't even really put the. I can't even get this lens to go into, or any lens I put on it, into the A, the A mode, which is, you know, automatic. So, and I've tried it on a couple other lenses. This lens, I shouldn't have brought this lens on it, but this is the lens that it came with, and this lens, um, this lens is not a very good lens at all. But anyway, <clears throat> so here's your aperture, your your I'm sorry, your shutter your shutter wheel and you go anywhere from two to two seconds to one one thousandths plus bulb so it should hold the hold it open as long as you have your finger on the on the button on the shutter button it should hold it open I don't have any film in this well I was going to in, going to load this but I didn't bring film with me I didn't bring my purse I think I got a, I put the roll in my purse but I think yeah anyway so um, the top, this is the same as an, a, an AE1. The AE1 program is different, and of course, the AV1 and the AL1, yeah, not even close. The AE1 program has a, uh, like a, a program spot, and this has moved over to here, and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so um, here's your shutter speeds. Here's your, here's your cocker, and here your, this, this, let's see if we can get, See if we can see back in there. There's your, this is on lock. And if you rotate it just a little further, there's your, it's on A. And then if you rotate it all the way forward, that gives you, that gives you your, um, oh, I need to turn this on. Um, that gives you your, your time. your, your, uh, yeah, delay, whatever, there you go, um, 
So well, let's rotate this back to lock for a second. So this side, this side is AE1. It looks just like my AE1, everything right down to, you know. This side is a little different. This, this is the same. There's a ring right here. Oh, also, this is where you set your, your, set your film speed. What you do on this to set your film speed is you best you can, you lift up on this ring and you rotate, <clears throat> see if you can get your fingers in there, you lift up and then you rotate around for your film speed. This goes from 25 to 3200 ISO. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but how often are you really going to adjust it? But, yeah. Um, now, let's yeah, let's let's continue on. So this side is a little different. This the AE one doesn't have a lever under here that will turn off, turn on and off the camera. Let's see if we can get it to focus a bit. So you've got your you've got your your on, your off, and then your battery test. Now, unlike the program where it beeps, what this does is you've got inside here, I was able to find it earlier. Okay, you've got a stick and loop. The stick and loop is for is, is um, your light meter. But it's also, if you watch that, watch that stick, and if we go, you know, you see that move, you go over and text your battery. What a pain. So now the stick is clear up here. That means the battery's good. It also, with it on, moves around depending on your light meter. And what your what the idea is, is you you take that loop for the light meter, and as you move move this around. It moves the stick a little bit, or it should, there it goes. And then what you're supposed to do is wrap the loop around the stick. And then you know you're, you're within an acceptable range of light, so it's not too, too bright, not too dark. But, and to do that, you can, like I say, you've got, you've got your battery test off and on. And then, of course, your rewind knob. And then to open the back, of course, you pull up on that. The door pops open. It's got a cloth shutter. Like, I don't, I don't know of any A-series camera that doesn't have a cloth shutter. Um, and as you can see a little bit here, I've replaced the felt there. Or I placed the phone with felt. This end look, didn't look that bad when I got it. This part here was covered with half of this. So yeah, it definitely needed needed at least that light seal replaced. Now on the front, you have your aperture. Oh, hey, it does work. Um, you have your aperture um, preview button. Like this, this lens, this lens is kind of, it's a little foobar, but this is your, your um, aperture preview, your, your depth of field preview, because as you change your aperture, it'll change your depth of field. So, so when you push that in, as you can, let's see if we can see it again. Yeah, just a little, just a little on that. Should shut it, suck it down. I'm on 16. It should suck it way down, but it ain't gonna, because this lens is like I say. Um, then you have your your PC port, and this does work on this camera. So you put your little cable in, and then you can have your have your um, flash remote, and it works on 155. And I got this camera with with this lens and a uh, Canon 155 uh, uh, flash. It didn't work, but I've got another one anyway. Um, I've got, I don't know, probably 10 of these 50 millimeters, um, plus a 28, plus a 35, and an 85, and a 115, 
and then if I really wanted to get fancy, I think it's a 70 to 200 millimeter, um, all Canon. So now um, this this camera takes the the FD lens mount. This one happens to be what they call like a bright ring or a chrome ring, and the way you take the lens on and off is you rotate rotate this around until the until the dot lines up, and then the lens will come on. The cool thing about this this these um, bright ring lenses is when you set it down on, you line up your line up your dots, you set it down on, it starts rotating all by itself. And then you just lock it on. Now these lenses work this work this the same as the new FD or the FDN. And what happens on the FDN is you don't have this ring, you put the lens on and you rotate the whole lens. And what you're actually doing is, is your, the whole lens becomes this. Uh, one of these days I'm going to have to show it, it's really kind of cool. But, so this camera will take these bright rings, it will also take the, um, the FDN lenses with the black ring and the button down here. This camera does not have the um, the preview or not the preview, but the exposure lock button. Either one of them, because it's fully manual. There's no reason to there's no reason to hit that button to to lock down an, ex, an exposure because it's not automatic. It's fully manual. Um, what else we got? Oh, and this thing will take a um, the Canon Power Winder A. I don't know about the 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 B because the B has four pins. This only has two. The AE one has or the yeah the AE one has two as well, and so does the AL one and I believe the AV one. The A one and the AE one program has four. The only real difference is I don't think this has. Maybe it does have rapid fire, but. The Power Winder A uh, on the later the, with the four pins won't go fully fully automatic burst. But um, what else we got? You say I forgot to grab forgot to grab some film. Yeah, I didn't bring any in here with me. Um, but to to load the camera, what you would do is you would put your your film spool in here and then slide that down to capture it then you peel it over and you you hook it you hook the film film leader here making sure that the sprocket holes on the film fit over these these sprocket pins and then you rotate it around and let's turn it all back on and this camera is battery dependent there's no if, the, if your battery's dead so is your camera but the batteries are relatively easy to get. Just look for anything 28 L, S, or A. <laughs> Two seconds, anyway. So then when you rotate this around, this will rotate the opposite way and it will rotate the film on backwards. But you see how the sprocket's moving. Then once you get enough rotated or wrapped on here to be fairly certain that it ain't coming apart then you close it and there's your there's your counter the counter should count up and we are at zero all those there's no film in there and then what you should you should always do is rotate this back around or back around until you cinch up what's left of the film and then you can tell if your film is loaded right. If it just keeps rotating, then your film's not loaded right. So, what else is there? Oh, I also, on this camera, I also replaced the, the foam up here with some, some uh, you probably shouldn't do this, but some, with some felt, felt stuff I got from a craft store. And this lens, you can kind of see, this pin right here is nowhere near tall enough. 
this thing's nowhere near tall enough to actually to, to actually catch on to to this little pin here which tells the tells the light meter where you're at with with um, your aperture so it can take into account the aperture and the and the shutter speed to get a uh, to get the right the correct exposure this would be a great like a bokeh giant if you're running like 100 and a thousand a thousands thousandths of a second plus f1.8 or f2 somewhere around there um, it would be great for that i will let you know and of course i will be i will put when i when i get it all um when I get it all uh, developed and developed and scanned and whatnot, I will be putting it into um, on my Instagram, which would be down here. Anyway, um, I guess the reason why they they had come up with this camera is people were crying for an an, an A series camera that was fully manual. Were they? I don't know. We'll just say sure. But anyway, so I think that should pretty much cover it. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I think we've got it. And this, like I said, this finishes up my all my A series. So what I need to do is grab them all and I have what two A one programs, two A V ones, two A E one A E ones, an A L one, and then this. So I'd have to bring it all together and plunk it down and it would be a very long video. Not like I'm not used to that. But anyway get out and shoot some film. This should be a great camera to shoot it with. No reason why not, all the rest of the A's are great.